destroy it. Oh. Oh, I forgot you were all here. Hello, when I was just playing a little app game called Smashy City, the the show will be sponsored by that. So go buy it at the app store. Super cool. Got a monster game. For everyone who doesn't know. So we all <laughs> wait, I'm confused. So hello and this is me again, Vincent, and lighting's back again. Yay, because I opened the window just for this one video. So today, our final Godzilla weird video, rare and unusual things we're gonna look at are the weird and rare and unusual Godzilla games you may have never heard of. So um let's see here. I'm going to just randomly throw out names. I'm not really going to say what half of these are. There is Godzilla, there's CR Godzilla 3 ST, and then there's Go CR Godzilla Descent of Destruction. I got to hit it. No. Yeah, CR Godzilla Descent of the Destruction God, actually. Which is a, a Panchiko game released only in Japan. The game was developed by Nujin and was released in 2010. And I think the same thing for its um, other one is yeah, a pan Panchinko game that was released only in Japan. It is, a notab it is notably for featuring the first new footage filmed by Toho since 2004. Um, the game was developed by a company named New Jin and was released in November of 2006. So, the one I said earlier was um, its sequel, technically. And then here's this one, which is Fierce Dragon Godzilla Metropolis Destruction, which is a game for the FM7 and X1 personal computers released in 1985. It looks super weird. Okay. So what other Godzilla games are there? Well, there's Godzilla arcade version. So this one is an arcade game developed by Bam Presto. Bam Presto is the, the guys who make the Godzilla and Ultraman shit. <laughs> the the figures. I'm just kidding. And they're making the new um, Godzilla, Shin Godzilla figure um, too. And it's released into Japan arcades in 1993, which is um, why most of these pictures of Godzilla or the 1991 or 1993 then there's Godzilla Commodore 64 Commodore no Commodore Commodore yeah is a strategy video game for the Commodore 64 developed by Glenn Fisher of Code Work Code Works the game was the first video the first video game ever to include Godzilla so this is technically the first Godzilla game ever made and here's another Godzilla, no, Godzilla Commodore Plus 4. So this is a, a 1988 action game for the Commodore 16 and Commodore Plus 4, developed by Adeline, something like that. Um, Adeline Kos Koser, and distributed by Nova, no Novo Trade, and then re-released by Delta Soft. So yay. Hooray for that. So, most of these you probably know, some of these probably don't know, like Godzilla PC-9801. So, yeah, um, this is a game for the NC, no, e NES PS-9800 series, developed by System Software, released in 1993. Oh, I see what that picture means, okay. So, I guess there's not much with this one, except it's another weird strategy Godzilla game. And then here is Godzilla and the Martians. Ooh. So this one is a 1984 platformer video game for the Sinclair... What? <laughs> Sinclair? Sinclair made this game. Um, ZX... Septrum? I don't know. Developed by Neil Streeter of Temp Temptation, yeah, Temptation Software Limited. I guess that's why there's Martians in the in the game. 
So yeah, most of these you guys know. Here's one Godzilla versus three giant monsters. Um, Godzilla epilogue shock? Not sure. And Godzilla giant monster march. Godzilla heart. What? Okay. I think I know this one. Yeah, I've seen this one before. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. This Godzilla heart heart pounding monster island. Ooh, sounds exciting, right? It's a, it is a g game for the Sega Pico, developed by Sega, who made Sonic, and released on July 25th of 1995. So most of the Heisei characters are in the game. And there's a bunch of chibi, the chibi characters. Then Godzilla Monster Mayhem, which is the strangest and actually kind of unique Godzilla game. It's an app. It's, yeah, it's an app. It is... One of two video games under the same title developed by indie games for mobile devices and other being the side scroller. The game was released on September 15 of 2009 for the App Store and has not been updated since and has been removed from the App Store. So that's why you can't find it. So there you go. The only characters that are featured in the game are Godzilla and King Dora. So. And then there's Zilla Online, which is exactly what I said. Then there's Godzilla Patch Show Slot Wars. Which is big money Godzilla. Um, I'm just going to start saying that for Godzilla slot machines. So it's a video game released in 2007. Developed by and published by Sammy as a Pensco unit. So not much going on. Again with this one. So yeah, everyone knows all these. I feel like something's flying next to me. But there's Gojira Kun. Which is... I think another version of the Godzilla for the Game Boy. Yep, it is. It totally is. So, Mr. Oh. Um, is a game for the MSX released in 1985. It features very cheapy looking monsters. This game is very similar to the Game Boy Godzilla game. Which I, which I, is what I just said. So, everyone knows Kaiju Combat. It's Godzilla or Zilla Virtual Shaken. There's Kaiju Land Battles. And then, my favorite rare and weird Godzilla app game, actually, is called Monster Strike. It's just called Monster Strike, so just note that. It's a 2014 mobile game made by Pixie for smartphones. So yeah, it features a lot of Godzilla characters, like 54, um, 94 Burning, there's Gigan, Destroy Rodan, uh, Mothra, there's Armored Mothra, King Ghidorah, Mecha King Ghidorah, uh, Mecha Godzilla, Space Godzilla, Ingress, Ibra, Mogira, Violante, and Batra, which is super cool. And here's not technically a Godzilla game, but it's kind of. It's called Monster Fair, which is a game developed by Toho for the MSX released in 1986. So it's a Mothra game because Mothra is the main and only playable character. This is Mothra's first video game appearance, actually. And Gizora, which is um, a character from a total movie, Space Amoeba. Go look it up. Um, and then they have Hedra, Minya, and of course Godzilla is in the game. And then there's a video game. Is this even a video game? Oh no, it's not really a video game, okay. Then there's, here's this one, this one was cancelled. So it was Rodan, just Rodan, which is an unreleased 1991 Godzilla game for the NES. So yeah, that's why, it's a scrap game. And then everyone knows Super Godzilla. Um, here's something right here. Uh, the movie Monster Game, which sounds super sick, but it is a... 1986 computer game developed by E, F Y X, F E X, for the uh, Apple II and Commodore 64. So, this actually looks pretty cool, actually. This, what? <laughs> Look who's in this game! If you can't see him, it's like a Stay Pup kind of guy. Then there's a giant pug looking thing. Oh my god. The glob, 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 globe, glob. I don't know. He looks so weird. Tyrant. 
Tyrannus. It's like a tarantula. It's so weird. This game. Never mind. Megatron? It sounds like Megatron. Or Voltron, better yet. Uh, if you guys want to know, like, why I say this looks sick because of the game's cover. Like, look at that. Godzilla's, like, picking up the. Yeah, Tokyo Tower. He's walking around. He's green, obviously. Stupid. And there's missiles firing at him. And there's, like, fire and Gurno engulfed. And it looks super sick. So yeah, I think let's just see. Yeah, that's it for Godzilla games. Weird and unusual Godzilla game. So you guys all know your Xbox Godzilla games, your PlayStation games, your PS games, and your Monster Monsters like Hydra Battle Royale, Godzilla Unleashed, and and also um where where is it? Where is these? Where are these games at? Here they are. I found them. What? Wait, hold on. Okay. okay, I just had to find these things. We're gonna run the time limit, though. Yeah, so you guys all know your Godzilla games like this, or this, better yet, Godzilla the game, which is, no matter what you you people say, it's the best um, Godzilla game I ever played, besides this one. This one's awesome, too. So yeah, so hope you all enjoyed this video, um, the last video for today, mostly. I gotta move the microphone towards me. Yeah, so hope you all enjoyed, um, seeing weird and unusual Godzilla games, and I'm trying to move the chair up. So hope you all enjoyed, um, hope you learned something new and heard things you never thought you heard before of Godzilla games. So hope you all enjoyed, um... Go to the Instagram to see things like this, but they won't be moving. And go to the Google Plus account for teasers, news, and pictures, and random stuff. So if you all enjoyed, rate, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, which videos we'll see you all next time. It's 3D. Like that Godzilla movie, whatever. It's 3D. See that? Yeah. I gotta go back to be playing my game. Actually. I'm gonna go play these.